You shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Amen. Good morning to you and trust you are keeping well. Trust you had a nice weekend. We are sharing truth this morning on life and bread. And that's coming from John chapter 6, 41 through 59 thereabout. You are warmly welcome to the Really Really Knowing God channel with me, Pastor Larry Adeneko. This channel is packaged to inform and inspire you into the rich knowledge of the living God. And everything is being powered by the Pastor Larry Adeneko Center for Exasperation, the place. This is the Daily Gem Devotional, making you a gem to your generation and a gemstone upon the crown of our Lord Jesus Christ. If you desire to really understand this fantastic God of ours, this is your favorite channel. Let us pray. Our Father and God, we bless you as we share time together again this morning. Thank you for your help at all times. We receive that help again this morning in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay, let's get into this this morning. We are beginning from 41 of John chapter 6 by the grace of God. Verse 41 of John chapter 6, it says, The Jews then complained about him because he said, I'm the bread which came down from heaven. And they said, It's not this Jesus, son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know. How is it then that he says, I came down from heaven, or I have come down from heaven? Therefore Jesus answered and said to them, Do not murmur among yourself. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws him, and I will raise him up at the last day. It is written in the prophets, and they shall all be taught by God. Therefore everyone who has heard and learned from the Father comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father, except he who is from God, he has seen the Father. Most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me has everlasting life. I am the bread of life. Your fathers ate man in the desert, in the wilderness, and are dead. This is the bread which comes down from heaven, that one may eat of it and not die. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever. And the bread that shall give is my flesh, which I shall give for the life of the world. Okay, I want to pause there and go back. From, from 41 he says i'm the bread which came down from heaven and then further down around 50 he repeated it maybe in a different form this is the bread that comes down from heaven that one may eat and not that i am the living bread i came from heaven if anyone eats this bread he will live forever so you see we are learning from there jesus was trying to say that the manna that the fathers of these people ate in the wilderness was a type of uh, was a type a shadow a model of what was to come that this Jesus now is the real deal. Praise God. So he was comparing. Your fathers ate manna in the wilderness and are dead and gone. Well, physically dead, as it just as well. But that anybody that would partake of this bread, I'm talking about, will live forever. So obviously, he was talking about a spiritual um, death or spiritual life here. When he says you will live forever. Nobody lives forever physically. So it's talking about spiritually living. Amen. So you see, they, they took the manna. It helped them to some extent, but it did not bring about eternal life. And that's the difference between the, the shadow, the model, and the real thing. And you know, we say all the time that, yeah, the shadow, the model uh, gives us an idea of what was to come. But when the real thing comes, it's always better, deeper, bigger than the, the shadow and all the, all the, the, the model and everything there was. It's just like you are, you are going to build and you have a model of a house. Of course, the house will be bigger than the model, stronger than the model, uh, more effective than the model. So the same thing now, when Jesus came, the real deal came, is better than the model, the manner in the desert another one says in verse 44 no man can come unto me unless the father draws him and i raise him up at the last day now this speaks to those of us who are involved in the work of uh, evangelism and witnessing it says nobody can come to the father to him except the father draws the person this is very very important and teaches you to pray for somebody before you even open your mouth to say anything so that the father may draw the person and how does he go about it he will walk around the person's circumstances the things he hears the things he sees the things he learns the things he reads the things he experiences all of them are working together to make sure that they draw him to jesus that's why Praying before going to evangelize or to witness is very, very important. The Father may draw the person. Praise the Lord. It says, therefore, anyone who has heard and learned from the Father comes to me. How is, will somebody 
who is not even born again, how will he hear and learn from the Father? He's talking about the Father uses all kinds of efforts to get people's attention. That's what he's talking about there, so that they can be drawn to Jesus by the grace of God. He went on to say, no, no, no one has seen the Father except the one who came from the Father. He has seen the Father. Talking about himself now. He came from heaven. That's why it says he's the bread that came from heaven. So we can go on. The Jews therefore quarried among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus answered, Most assuredly, I say unto you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Zoe, whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood habitually, that's what he's talking about, is in present continuous, has eternal life. Again, Zoe, and I will raise him up at the last day. My flesh is food indeed, my blood is drink indeed. He who eats, present continuous. My flesh and drinks my blood abides in me and I am as the living father has sent me and I live because of the living father. So he who feeds on me will live because of me. This is the bread which came down from heaven. Not as your fathers ate manna and added. He who eats this bread will live forever. This is very important. I want to talk about that verse 57. Deliberately, I was uh, highlighting Zoe as I was reading along because you see in 57, it says, as the father sent me and I live. That live there is the verb from zoe is <laughs> Zao. so he says as, as i live as i practice as i exercise as i bring into uh, motion or bring into being in being into functionality hallelujah bring into functionality the zoe that's the meaning of as i live praise the lord because of the father so he who feeds on me where how do you feed on him by appropriating by appropriating the all the things that have to do with his death the breaking of his body the shedding of his blood so as you appropriate it as you yeah bring it into your uh your heart your life your circumstance your belief your confessions your courage your way of life you know you bring all those things in there you will live the live we're talking about is not the biological living it is the living that comes uh, on account of zoe it is the expression of of of, of zoe the, the practicalization of zoe if you like that's what it says i live it says i jesus i live zao because of the heavenly father so also you also will leave zao bringing about uh zoe the functionality of zoe in your daily life as you feed on me what does it mean to feed as you meditate regularly as you meditate continually you know upon the breaking of his body the shedding of his blood and all the things he achieved in his dying and rising again as you appropriate them into your life into your heart into your being into your circumstance into your confessions into your courage into your way of life and all you leave and I'm, I'm saying that this leave is the expression of the zoe of god hallelujah is bringing into functionality and and uh, this is very very big and i pray that the spirit of god will explain this thing to some some people this morning i, I am um at a loss for um failure to explain things better and i trust that spirit of god will help me do the job for you in your life because this will transform things for you praise the lord went on to say this is the bread which came down from them just repeating the same thing as he had said earlier on he who is this bread will live forever i mean he's talking about eternal life it's probably enjoy it's a good place to round up before we go into uh, some of the other things uh, from verse 16 maybe the other time but let us understand that this is deep spiritual stuff this is really really deep spiritual stuff and as we go into the next one you're going to see indeed that it is the spiritual stuff but if you can get it it will transform everything about you so thank you for being there thank you for your patience and i pray that god will give you a great work week bless you